Martha's Vineyard is a, it, it, it is an island, a community that is known for its openness. And there's a sign that I've seen on the vineyard since at least 2019, 2020. Um, uh, that reads, we respect women, we value black lives, we stand with our LGBTQ community members, we stand with immigrants, with refugees, with indigenous peoples. Just saying to the folks who visit Martha's Vineyard that you are in a community that prizes diversity and prizes humanity. And that's not what we've seen from Abbott or DeSantis. <laughs> Five minutes later. Now these exact same people are applauding Massachusetts for using the military to remove undesirable immigrants. Trash. Trash they promised to safeguard to a military base. I mean, what? <laughs> Is anyone noticing this? We're not a border town. We don't have an infrastructure uh, to handle uh, this this type of and a level of immigration to our city. But we will will create a new normal here in our infrastructure and have a, a humane welcome for people and an efficient um, you know service provision. But we we don't have the ability. We're not Texas. <laughs> When illegal immigrants come to their cities and towns, they call it a political stunt. When they overrun border towns and are shipped in the dead of night to middle America, well, that's just the way it's supposed to be. If you didn't already know that these people are NPC elitist scumbags who hate half the country, well, now you do. But none of them compare to the inception of hypocrisy that almost tore through the fabric of space and time created by CNN's John Berman. And I promise we'll get right into that clip after I tell you about this free coin offer from Noble Gold. Noble Gold CEO Colin Plume thinks that quantitative tightening is setting up the stage for a gold rally. In his interview with the National Desk, Plume said the tightening is pushing the dollar up. However, he predicts that by next year, the Fed will print money again to restart economic activities. If all of this is going over your head and you don't really understand why you should be investing in gold and silver at the moment, you should contact Colin's team at Noble Gold. If you're thinking of gold and silver right now, Noble Gold is giving away a free gold American Eagle coin with every eligible IRA or 401k in September. You can't go wrong with Noble Gold. Call the team now at 877-646-5344 to find out more or visit noblegoldinvestments.com. You can also use the link in the description or pinned comment. Make sure to tell them Drone Tech sent you. This is history. All of your documentaries are about history. Yeah. But all of them also make you think about where we are exactly. now. And we woke up to the news this morning that Governor Ron DeSantis of Florida sent two plane loads of migrants uh, to Martha's Vineyard off the coast of Massachusetts, including kids and whatnot. And I'm not saying this is not a one for one. This is not a parallel here in any way. But it does address some of the same themes that are part of this documentary. Well, I don't like where this is going. Themes that we engage in the past are present today. And so when you look at the story that we're telling of the U.S. and the Holocaust, you understand that the time to save a democracy is before it's lost. We promise you. Come on, seriously? Comparing the relocation of 50 illegal immigrants to the nicest, richest place in America to the Holocaust. Look, I know that it must be somehow different when they do it, but wasn't this the same guy that just said this? New reporting this morning on evil lunacy. That is how Republican Liz Cheney described new statements from Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene. Evil lunacy. And to be honest, Cheney was being polite. Equated mask requirements in the House to the Holocaust. A historic, it's abhorrent, John. It is not only a historic, it is abhorrent. It's also apparently allowable. Wearing a mask compared to the murder of six million people, it's so far beyond the realm of decency, it could only possibly be made worse by comments from Marjorie Taylor Greene. This is history. All of your documentaries are about history. Yeah. But all of them also make you think about where we are exactly. now. And we woke up to the news this morning that Governor Ron DeSantis of Florida sent two plane loads 
of migrants uh, to Martha's Vineyard off the coast of Massachusetts, including kids and whatnot. And I'm not saying this is not a one for one. This is not a parallel here in any way. But it does address some of the same themes. The themes that we engage in the past are present today. And so when you look at the story that we're telling of the U.S. and the Holocaust, you understand that the time to save a democracy is before it's lost. (laughs) So you see, it's completely different when John Berman compares flying 50 illegal immigrants to the richest, nicest place in America to the mass murder of 6 million people. It's not anti-Semitic or abhorrent when he does it because he got Ken Burns to agree with him. All right, it's probably a good time to stop because I'm about to embark on a series of complex embolisms. If you found this video to be informative or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe. Also, make sure to leave a comment to let us all know what you think. I upload something daily, so keep checking back. Thanks a lot.